Hello, I wanted to show you a common failure point on these Craftsman C3 19.2 volt impact drivers, half inch impact driver. If it'll light up like that, but you get no drive from the motor, there's a common failure point here and I'll show you an easy fix for it. Okay, I've already removed the four screws on the front side of the motor here. Those are just fill up heads, they come right out. And then there's eight fill up heads to remove this, this part here. We'll take the battery out as well. And then once we get in here, we can see the failure point here. On the back side of the motor, we've got our positive wire and our ground. And this positive wire, you can see it's worn away right there, exposing wire. And the ground down in there is totally broken off. So we can clearly see the failure point, the broken wires that won't drive the motor, but why did these wires break? You can see how much movement we have in this motor. It's not supposed to do that. The mounting screws to the uh, chuck up here, those are loose. Those have come loose, allowing this motor just to move all around, causing these wires to break. So we need to repair these wires and then tighten up these bolts here and put a little Loctite on them so they don't come loose again. I'm gonna disconnect the wires to our little LED light. And then the chuck should remove. And then down inside, there's those two little bolts. We're gonna get a little Loctite on those and tighten them up. And if you're finding this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for all kinds of how-to projects, especially Jeep-related stuff. I do a lot of Jeep projects. Okay, got Loctite on both of those mounting bolts. They're tight, back where they're supposed to be. Now let's work on repairing our broken wires. So you can see the positive wire here is just the insulation's broken on it. So I'm just gonna repair that. The negative wire, the ground, you can see it's completely broken off of the terminal. So I'm gonna repair that and uh, solder that back on there. So I was able to roll open this terminal and get this old solder out of here and this old wire. Well, not quite as pretty as the factory, but I think that'll work just fine. Now I'm gonna repair a couple breaks in the insulation that we have, and then we'll test it out. All right, we got the wire insulation repaired. I really like that liquid electrical tape, and then I put a little bit of a regular electrical tape on top of it. Now we're gonna reassemble in the reverse order. And I'll be sure to include Amazon links in the video description below of that liquid electrical tape and a soldering iron in case you need to pick any of that stuff up. All right, let's test it out. 